I got carried away. What's up, Packers? It's Goalie Blocks, and today it's all about Legos. I feel like everyone has a time where they're like obsessed with Legos. Like I know I've built like so many sets, but then now they're just like collecting dust, and we're gonna go put them to use today. We are bringing Legos to the next level. It's time to hack your Legos. And for our first pack, we have Lego gummies. They're Jolly Rancher flavor. We have green apple, blue raspberry, and then watermelon. I remember when, like, when I was little, like, you know, Lego bricks are like super cute and like small, and like the itty bitty ones, I'll try to eat them. So uh, you can actually eat these, which is really great. I'm gonna pick a little man. There we go. That's bomb. Like, you can eat as many of these as you want. You know, like, you can eat like a whole kit like a Star Wars kit, ah, go to town, you know? So all I did for these is I put Jello, gelatin, and corn syrup to make it thicker and uh, will hold shape better. It's still really, really jiggly and uh, they look so cute. Yeah, that's like kind of an ugly one, one second. There we go. Lego gummies, let's hack it. For this DIY, you're gonna need a box of Jello, corn syrup, two packets of gelatin, a condiment bottle, and Lego molds. First, mix together half a cup of cold water and a quarter cup of corn syrup. Pour the mixture into a saucepan and add your gelatin and jello. Pour the mixture on medium low heat for five to 10 minutes until it looks more clear. Next, pour the mixture into a tall glass and let it cool for at least 10 minutes. Remove the film that is formed at the top of the glass. Then pour the mixture into your condiment bottle. Fill the Lego molds and put them in the refrigerator for an hour and a half. Peel the gummies from the molds and try not to eat every single one instantly. Rookie mistake. The best part about these is that they're super, super squishy and jiggly. So if you step on these, it is not the end of the world. If you step on a real Lego, you have to go to the hospital. Like, you're done, so man. It hurts so bad. Ooh, okay, which reminds me, the world record for walking on Legos barefoot is 1,264 feet and six inches. That's like 1,264 feet and like five inches too many, you know? And for our second hack, we have a Lego lamp. It's really cool. Like it projects like so many different lights around like your walls and stuff like that. If you like turn it, it's kind of like a disco ball, but like better. Okay, so all you need is a lamp with a flat base and uh, Legos. You can build whatever you want on top. So uh, it looks really good right now, but let's see what the light's off. Okay, ready for this? Oh yeah. So as you can see, I did all these different types of windows, like a big one, like a small one, just super like randomly scattered. And it makes like, it looks really cool on your walls. Like it's so cool. Lego lamp, let's hack it. For this DIY, you're gonna need Legos, a lamp with a flat base, and a light bulb. First, measure the base of your lamp and figure out how large your cube has to be. Next, it's playtime. Build a cube of Legos with several windows and spaces for light to shine through. Finish off with the flat Legos as your roof. Finally, place your Lego shade over the lamp. I feel inspired. Do you think we can build a Lego bed next? Too far? The combinations are literally endless with this. How endless, you might say? There was once a Danish mathematician that wondered how many different structures he could make with six Legos. So he wrote a computer program to calculate every single possible combination. The program took a week to calculate all the different types of structures. Guys, get ready to have your minds blown. It broke 915 million. 915 million ways that these can be put together. Like, how does that even, what? Oh, I didn't even think about this one, one second.
Okay, that is it for my Lego episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more Daywise every Friday. Uh, also hit that notification bell if you want to get notified every time I post. And if you recreate any of these hacks, just post them on Instagram and tag at GoldieBlocks. And the weekly Goldie Squad shout out goes to Florissa. She was super surprised that gummy candies had animal bones in it. And then when I said it, she was like, bro, what are you doing? You know, you kind of get over it. They're just so delicious and cute. You know what? You can't taste it. Like, it's okay. You just have to get over it eventually. And that is it. See you guys next week. Goldie Vlogs signing off. If you like that, hit subscribe. There's plenty more DIYs coming your way every Friday.